We're living on a disc, floating through space with a tiny sun. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Craig. Welcome back to Fight the Flat Earth. Recently, I did an interview with an ex-Flat Earther named Adam. Uh, he was deeply involved in the Flat Earth movement, even being in hangouts on uh, Flat Earth and other hot potatoes with Jeremyism and co. Um, it was a very revealing interview, showing a lot of the psychological side of the Flat Earth cult. Um, he recently did an After Thoughts video and would like me to share that with you. So guys, um, this is Clear Cognition, um, Adam, uh, and his thoughts and feelings on how he feels after doing the interview with me. I want to say thank you very much for all the support and um, you know, spreading this video. It's a very important message. And if there is any other ex-Flat Earthers who would like me to interview them, then I'd be more than happy to do that if you contact me at fighttheflatearth at gmail.com. Thanks. Enjoy the video. Bye. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to uh, Fight the Flat Earth for interviewing me on Monday. I really appreciate it. I was struggling with some uh, vertigo uh, in this ear. I got problems in that ear. And uh, so I had to get straight to the point. <laughs> and he uh, he basically was really nice to me. I can't. You told me your name and I can't remember. You seem like a nice guy. And I believe that you saw me in a comment and... Uh, asked to talk to me I said that I would in uh, in uh, on Monday to talk to you do a hangout or something and I wasn't feeling good then but I kind of promised and then when you asked again I said okay let's do it so I, I did it and I'm glad we got to the point I lost my train of thought a few times because of because uh, the vertigo I just kind of on the tail end of it uh, just like many of you are on the tail end of your flat earth journey <laughs> But anyways, when you're when you're struggling with vertigo and you're off balance for whatever reason, uh, it really sucks to to be off balance like that. It really does. So I, I understand um, a lot more than you think. But I'd like to thank you uh, for having me on there, be, being polite. When you recorded it, I want to thank you that uh, it was private. Like we talked first, then you made it private, and you only said you know you'll make it live if I like it. And uh, I really appreciate that. And if I would have said you know delete you know can you cut out certain parts, you would have too. And you were. You're a good guy, so I really appreciate it. And it probably wasn't easy for you, you know, me being a Christian and, and that, but uh, you let, let me get it out there, and I think I think that uh, I really got my point across. And from the view count and the thumbs down, thumbs up, I hope that I that I helped somebody uh, through my story. But this is just an afterthought, or afterthoughts of, uh, of that, and that I'd like to talk about really briefly, just get to the point. Now, being out of Flat Earth, for a while and looking back on me when I first went to Patricia's you know flat earth and other other hot potatoes and the way I'm now I don't feel like the same person that's really good because if we're not growing and learning that's a terrible thing and I, I learned a lot through it and I have no hard feelings against like Patricia Steer Antonio Subarets Nathan Oakley even though your hangouts Nathan are terrible your your debates I said it in the interview I'm saying it again what are you trying to just to uh, wear people out from even looking at flat earth you know or anything they're terrible um you know even mark Sargent, no hard feelings um david weiss deep in side your rabbit hole even jaron you know i don't know what your agenda is or what you're doing i don't think you believe in flat earth anymore at all i i don't know what you believe in but no hard feelings against you and i wish i really wish the absolute best for you guys and uh that's it I'm not saying who is a shill and who isn't because I don't know everything. And what's the point, really? I mean, shills need love too, right? You know? Shills need love. That's a good song. Someone should do a song about shills need love too. Could you imagine if you're in this flat earth thing or conspiracies or whatever and you don't really want to do it anymore but you have to because you have a contract so you have no choice? How That would suck. At least I could walk away <laughs> or at least get help, you know? Um, so no hard feeling against all of them and I still pray for them I care about them and uh, who am I to judge right because there's things that I do sometimes I don't want to do and I'm not perfect by any means not even close but anyways my main point to this video of what I really wanted to say in that after looking at at that uh, interview on fight the flat earth is this and I made a comment about something that Mark Sargent said it's like a 
like a marble in a paint can or a marble in your brain. You know, you look at flat earth, you watch a flat earth clues, you won't believe it, but it shakes around in your head a bit and eventually you'll believe it. Oh, birds. Hi, birds. Um, and you'll eventually believe it, right? Well, there's a lot of truth to that. And first of all, it looks to me, okay, without calling anyone out or anything, that it's a psyop. It's called cognitive infiltration to create cognitive dissonance. So if you look at cog cognitive or cognition, look in dictionary.com or the Oxford Dictionary, dictionary or whatever, it's, it really is about your perception of things. Perception, sounds familiar, your judgments, how you view everything around you. So it views that, well, okay, Flat Earth definitely did that, definitely change your perception of how you see things, your judgment of things. Um, that's why it's really hard to, to talk to a flat earther. You can have someone like Simon Dan, which I, I love your channel, by the way. I don't know where the cameras I'm looking. I love your channel, Simon, a lot. Simon Dan. And I also like uh, Conspiracy Cats. You don't seem to get caught up in the drama and everything, which is good. And you get straight to the point and you have a bit of humor, which I really like. And Conspiracy Cats, I didn't know who you were before. You have a pretty good following, but I only started watching some of your videos because of Simon Dan. Kind of talks about you. And you're funny. You're just a funny guy, you know? And can you use that in a clip? Like you talk to me and I'm saying, you're a funny guy, funny guy, or something, I know, whatever. But you guys get to the point, you debunk things really quickly, but the problem with flat earthers is that their judgment has been changed, their perception. I think what really comes down to flat earth is fear. It starts with fear and it ends with fear. And it doesn't give you peace whatsoever. You might think, oh, your eyes are open, you now see truth, but it's, you know, that marble in a paint can that rattles around that ball bearing in a paint can so you look up this is what happens okay you're watching a video and okay for i'm going to backtrack so i, I try to give a, a this quick definition of infiltration go in to dictionary.com type type in infiltration and look at the military definition of it right about small groups and individuals that infiltrate and and how it explains that and put those two words together cognition or cog cog Cognitive, cognitive and cognition and infiltration together. That's flat earth to me. That's really what's going on without pointing fingers, okay? Now, I'll get to the point why I think that has happened. But anyways, so that you got them, that flat earth clues, Eric Dubay or whatever flat earth video that you watched. And what do you do? Right away, you look up to her eyes and you're looking up. You got that little, little bit of, Marble going around, possibly some cognitive dissonance because a lot of people don't know science. Now, astrophysicists and science, they know that it's just theories sometimes. That's all it is. But it's their best guess through math and through their observations. Like even Einstein. Now they're seeing that some of what he was saying wasn't completely accurate, but it set them in a better direction, right? So you could say that, yeah, but that's occult science and everything. Well, First of all, these people aren't necessarily Christians and they're doing the best they can with what they have. So a lot of people get into flat earth because they look at the horizon. What's going through their head is it looks flat to me and the 360 degrees, it looks flat. Oh my gosh. So they start out of curiosity through fear, they start looking at videos on the, on the internet. So you got like, you know, cold and, and warmer kind of, they're looking at moonlight through, through those meters, right? infrared readers or whatever so they're seeing the heat which is skewed because like conspiracy cats had said that he's on a warm mat taking a measurement then he's going to the the shade and taking measurements so mats keep in heat they, they absorb heat they keep it in so it's going to be warmer so yet yeah, they don't they don't know and they're believing this this baloney and they're looking at p900s or p1000s they're looking at that seeing seeing the mirage or having some someone else explain to them what that what they're looking at instead of looking at the other side of things of what they're actually observing or they're just seeing like Rob Steve or something and I'm not even gonna touch him because I whatever um, they're not looking at the data properly okay and as times goes on we'll figure things out more and uh, you know anyways you look at the you're looking at that all these videos the horizon and then fear sets in I've been lied to because you're ignorant not because you're a bad person I wasn't a bad person you're not a bad person but you're ignorant and then you get you start believing it and then you start thinking that you're awake now I've got this awakening which is crazy to me because it's it's physical how can you be awake in a physical thing 
even if the physical thing explains a spiritual matter, isn't awakening a spiritual thing, not a physical thing? So you're you're going from a, a third dimensional reasoning to another third dimensional reasoning and now you're awake for some reason and you're so blind that you're not looking at the other side of things that's why a lot of flat earthers are truly experiencing cognitive dissonance and they can't get away from it even those that love attention love their youtube channel maybe they're making a little bit of cash which is very difficult on youtube especially nowadays and you're believing this stuff sorry the car is going by I hope this isn't picking up a lot of wind. There you go. Nice car. Anyways, so you're starting to believe all this stuff because of uh, fear. Let's just go back to fear again. <clears throat> so how could you be awake when the only reason why you got into this is because of fear? Plain and simple. Fear. You don't have any reasoning skills to, to even think for yourself and then you you just remember oh yeah I, I held a globe when I was a kid they pushed the globe on us and now it must be a lie so you came into a fear because of fear well okay cognitive cognitive infiltration I mean you now there's fear and I'm not calling anybody out of who who is a agent who isn't an agent because even agents and shills need love too because they're lost in my opinion just like so many people and if the, you know anyone who ever wants to talk to me in the future I'd be glad to talk to them in private and keep it as such but really what how does that affect you now what's the point of really looking at um, who, who these shills are and everything well it can happen on both sides because if you look at cognitive infiltration you know if I was to call out or somebody else was to call out that they suspect is a shill or an operative it doesn't really matter anyways because it's like a bunch of sheep dogs herding sheep into the into the pen or the behind the fence or in a cage no matter what you do or who you expose you're moving you're in motion so they're just going to organize themselves to put fear into you to to focus you in the right direction they want you to go towards that gate you know that's what they want now what's the reason behind this well why i i strongly believe the whole purpose of this is well, for all you know that some, some people within the uh, debunking flat earth community are agents too, I don't know. And they're causing a lot of tension and cognitive dissonance within you. They go on hangouts, they, they play the game, they know the lines, and it's meant to, meant to confuse you and cause cognitive dis, dis, dissonance even more. So by the end, you just give up. Now you might not be like I was in all these hangouts and doing all this stuff, talking to them privately and putting yourself out there but eventually you're like this is retarded this is stupid so you let you, you went into it with fear but that fear still remains because for one reason you don't know what to believe anymore you don't know what truth is so the whole purpose in my opinion now i'm not an expert okay i'm not but from my experience from what i've observed stepping back getting out of it looking at it now flat earth which is the ultimate conspiracy with that will change your perception there's not none other like it is you're alone. You you are now feeling fear. You don't know who to believe. And you are like, in their view, possibly like bacteria. You've run rampant. Many people have run rampant within social media and online. They can't control what happens one-on-one -on -one between people right now. Really, they can't. I mean, we can turn our phones off. We can turn our devices off. We can, we can meet in private. They'll never know at this point. You know, you can kind of evade that. But it's like an antibody. You know, they want to draw more people in the flat earth so that they get immune to conspiracies and the ultimate flat, flat, flat earth so-called truth so that later on, you're basically immune to anything. You don't know what to believe anymore and you don't care. So you've been immune to it. There you go. What can you do? I personally believe that I found peace through Jesus Christ, even within my stupidity behavior sometimes which I definitely have. And there's peace that comes from the cross, from Jesus. I really believe that. But you thought you were awake, but the whole time you're being led around because of fear. And you've been given antibodies through cognitive dissonance, and now you're neutral. You're not a threat anymore. And they're going to keep pumping this out to, to basically neutralize 
the flat earth or the conspir any conspiracies, any conspiracy called so-called theories or whatever title they want to put to it. I think that's what's going on. But what can you do? Well, first of all, you can come out of that anytime you want. You know, if you're finding a hard time, don't even look at the internet. Don't even want, you know, disable YouTube or d delete it from your cell phone and, and, and everything. Don't even watch it anymore. That's something that you can do. <laughs> Get out of it for a while. You know, your family, people in your real life are way more important than online. They really are. They really are. And you can come out of that cage anytime you want because it's all in your mind. It seems like a nod at first because cognitive dissonance creates such a thing between your heart and your mind that it's really it's really confusing. But you can choose to walk away from that for a while and get out of it. That's the best thing you can do. Um, and to cope through that is spend time with your family, spend time with friends. You don't need to, to be involved in that in the first place. Now I'm gonna put in the link in the description box some videos to a uh, uh, link to a uh, Spotify. I love Spotify music to end of fear the song end of fear by john schlitt or john w schlitt um great song i'll put a link there's a youtube video that has that as well end of fear and then john schlitt how he, he there's a, a link about his what he meant and what he meant behind that song writing that song uh, end of fear so if you're tired of fear in your life tired of that marble in your head tired of that vertigo that gives you fear every time you stand up and look at that horizon now I can relate to that because I've str I'm struggling with that and I didn't even know. So I really understand that. So you can get vertical for different reasons. Um, Meniere disease, um, crystals in your ear that are loose, so it's causing them to float in, in out your, I don't know, it's outer eardrum, but there's, there's three chambers that uh, help you gain balance within this three-dimensional world. There's three axes, right? So you can get crystals in all of them, one of them or just two of them that can throw your balance off. If you're tired of living like that, tired of living in fear, could be a better way for you. You're not a prisoner held captive in some cage like a sheep. You're not. And if you're standing out there, why are you running away from these sheepdog? What are they going to do to you? What, really? Just walk right past them. They can't do anything to you, and they're not going to hurt you. Thank you. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Yeah.